This ranks the benefits of particular common supplements on a whole foods, plant-based diet. This considers the necessity of the particular nutrient and the likelihood to achieve the recommended daily value prior to supplementation. Essentially, I'll be identifying the prevalent naturally occurring sources of the nutrients and then extrapolating to rank the corresponding supplements. Specific side effects of nutrient deficiencies could be discussed in future videos. Some of the supplements are already included in fortified foods, plant milk and nutritional yeast, for example. Many of the supplements are also included in multivitamins. You can easily look up your daily nutritional intake to determine whether supplementation is pertinent. Personally, I like to use the Chronometer app. Lastly, blood tests can check for some nutritional deficiencies. In D tier, vitamin A. Beta carotene is abundant in sweet potatoes, carrots, kale, pumpkin, and spinach. Cooking these increases the bioavailability of beta carotene. Beta carotene converts to retinol and then retinol. These are considered vitamin A derivatives. In C tier, vitamin B1, also known as thiamine, found in higher quantities in seeds, peanuts, whole grains, and legumes. In B tier, Vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin, found in higher quantities in mushrooms, sunflower seeds, whole grains, soybeans, almonds, and greens. In C tier, vitamin B3, also known as niacin, found in higher quantities in peanuts, sunflower seeds, whole grains, and mushrooms. The bioavailability may be limited in some grain products. In C tier, vitamin B5, also known as pantothenic acid, found in higher quantities in peanuts, mushrooms, sunflower seeds, avocados, and whole grains. In D tier, vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, found in higher quantities in seeds, bananas, and peanuts. In D tier, vitamin B7, also known as biotin, found in higher quantities in peanuts and seeds. In D tier, vitamin B9, also known as folate, found in higher quantities in peanuts, seeds, legumes, and spinach. In S tier, vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin. B12 is synthesized by bacteria, but not by most plants. Although it can be synthesized through the fermentation of plants, reaching a sufficient daily value is fairly difficult without supplementation. In E tier, Boron, found in high quantities in many fruits and vegetables. In D tier, vitamin C, found in higher quantities in bell peppers, broccoli, and citrus fruits. In S tier, calcium, found in relatively low quantities in seeds and greens. However, typically reaching a sufficient daily value of calcium requires a lot of calories, thus it's reasonable to take a minority percentage daily value calcium supplement. In C tier, choline, found in moderate quantities in potatoes, grains, nuts, and broccoli. In E tier, chromium, found in sufficient traces from a variety of plants. In A tier, Chloride, found in small quantities in some plants, however salt is the realistically abundant source. Thus, if you aren't supplementing sodium chloride salt, then you should probably consider supplementing chloride. In E tier, coenzyme Q10, also known as ubiquinone. While this generally isn't considered an essential nutrient, it can be found in high quantities in plant oils. In E tier, Conditionally essential amino acids. These are separate from essential amino acids. Quantifying the intake of these is fairly difficult. Thus, it's fairly difficult to assume that they should be supplemented. In D tier, copper, found in higher quantities in seeds and nuts. In C tier, creatine. While non-essential, plants tend to lack in quantity. In S tier, Vitamin D3, also known as coal calciferol, found in low quantities in plants, other than specific fungal sources. 
While this is different than vitamin D2, it's a very common supplement, especially if you're receiving a lower amount of sunlight or have difficulty converting sunlight into the necessary vitamin, then this is definitely a reasonable supplement to take. In B tier, DHA and EPA, these are long chain omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids that are found in low quantities in plants other than specific algal sources. In E tier, vitamin E, abundantly found in seeds and nuts. In B tier, essential amino acids, generally found in higher quantities in nuts, seeds, and legumes. Reaching sufficient daily value of essential amino acids is certainly feasible. However, additional supplementation may be beneficial. In F tier, fiber, very abundant in many plants, there isn't much reason to be supplementing this. In fact, it may be beneficial to try to reduce fiber intake. In S tier, iodine, found in negligible quantities in most plants, other than some sea vegetables. Iodized salt is the realistically abundant source. Thus, if you aren't consuming iodized salt, then an iodine supplement is very pertinent. In C tier, iron, Plants contain non-heme iron, which has limited absorbency. However, it's still found in higher quantities in seeds, legumes, nuts, and greens. So reaching a sufficient daily value of iron without supplementation is feasible. In B tier, vitamin K2. The MK4 form is from the partial conversion of plant-sourced K1, which is easy to come by. However, vitamin K2 is found in negligible quantities in most plants other than some fermented plants. Thus, the supplementation of vitamin K2 is certainly a reasonable consideration. In D tier, magnesium, found in higher quantities in seeds and nuts. In E tier, manganese, abundantly found in whole grains, seeds, and nuts. In E tier, molybdenum, abundantly found in whole grains and legumes. In C tier, Omega-3 and Omega-6. Omega-3 fatty acids are abundantly found in flax seeds. Omega-6 fatty acids are abundantly found in sunflower seeds. In D tier, phosphorus, abundantly found in seeds. In B tier, potassium, found in moderate quantities in seeds, bananas, nuts, potatoes, and beans. In C tier, selenium, found in massive quantities in Brazil nuts. Thus, it isn't suggested to eat more than three per day. And it's also found in sunflower seeds. However, most plant sources don't contain a lot of selenium. In A tier, sodium, found in small quantities in some plants, salt is the realistically abundant source. Thus, if you aren't consuming sodium chloride salt, supplementing sodium is a good idea. In B tier, zinc, found in moderate quantities in seeds and nuts. If you believe I've missed an important nutrient, leave a comment and share your experiences.